Hey guys, Will from Tested here. Today I have a quick and easy how-to. Uh, if you recall last year, I took my MacBook Pro and put an SSD in it. That was awesome, but now it's getting a little bit full and I want some more space. Fortunately for me, I have an optical drive spot in this machine that I never ever use. So what I'm gonna do today is pop out the optical drive, put a hard drive in using this particular caddy, which will slot right into the optical drive space with this 750 gigabyte hard drive in it so I can but triple, quadruple my storage capacity in this thing. Let's get started right now. First thing I'm gonna do, take my trusty Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all the screws that hold the bottom on this case. I have a trusty piece of tape here to put my screws on so that I don't actually lose them because they are all very, very tiny. Let's get started. All the screws are out. I've opened the case. Oh my God, that is so scary. So there are just a few screws that hold this in place. The question is how much other stuff do I have to take out before I am able to take the optical drive out? I'm just gonna start unscrewing stuff, see what works, and then we'll call out the screws that you actually have to do at the end. Uh, so I managed to remove the three screws that hold this in. There's one in the top right corner, one in the bottom right corner, and one in the middle of the back of the optical drive. Really straightforward, you know, this is the optical drive right here, obviously, and the whole thing is just in a caddy that kind of lifts out. Uh, this cable right here, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it was easy to disconnect. Uh, it'll just pop back in place when I'm ready to put it back together. And uh, that gave me enough room and slack to lift out the optical drive, hopefully. Now the question is, can I slide the caddy out from under all this other stuff? Oh yeah, looks like I can. That is exciting. So the final thing you'll have to do with the old optical drive is actually pull this guy off right here. All this is is the thing that converts the normal SATA style power and data connectors into one of these flat pin connectors that Apple likes because they're low profile and easy to plug in places. The next thing I need to do is put my new hard drive in the drive caddy. Now this drive caddy is about 15 bucks. I bought it from some, some third party vendor on Amazon. Uh, it is not particularly expensive. It doesn't have any logic or anything like that in it. So it comes with this hard drive spacer in. You take that out, you drop the hard drive in, line up the SATA connectors on the hard drive with the SATA connectors on the caddy. Boom. Slide it in, it's gonna snap into place. There we go. And then you put the hard drive spacers back in and it's probably a good idea to actually put a couple of the screws in so that the drive is held in place. So we have some screws here. I'm just gonna do two. I don't think I need to do all four. I don't know where the other four would, other two would go. Before I can put this back in, I need to actually take this little bracket off. What this is gonna do is help secure this hard drive in place because you don't wanna have it just flapping around. So I'm gonna take that off, two little screws, really simple. And then I'm gonna put that bracket in the same orientation on the hard drive caddy. So if you are worried about losing your actual optical drive, you can buy a caddy for this that'll turn it into a USB opt optical drive for another 30 or $40, uh, maybe up to 90, depends on where you get it. Uh, I actually don't care, so I didn't even investigate that, but that is definitely an option if you, if you do use optical discs still. And it'll work just the same on USB 2 as it does it built into the machine. Now it's time to put the hard drive with its new caddy back into the system though. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, you need to make sure you peel up the battery sticker, the sticker that says, hey, warning, do not remove the battery. Uh, and then you also need to slide it under the other side where the speaker and all that kind of stuff is. So uh, two hands are required here. So now it's under the edge. I'm gonna peel the sticker back, get it out from under, there we go. Uh, make really sure that you don't pinch this cable. I believe that one comes from the hard drive and uh, you don't wanna do any damage to that because you'll have data problems and that, that is of course bad. Also make sure you don't pinch this long cable here, which I think is probably the monitor cable, uh, underneath the adapter, the, the connector for the back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in. Uh, not the tightest it could be in there. I would like it actually if the bracket had screws on the other two sides as well, but you know, you take what you can get, 15 bucks. I'm gonna put the lid back on, screw everything back into place. The important thing to remember is that the screws on the back are longer than the other screws. So do the short screws on the front edges and the sides and the ones in the back should be the long ones. Uh, I seem to have lost one of my screws. I don't know how that happened, but I will go steal a replacement from Norm's computer. Don't tell him. So uh, screws are back in. I'm gonna power it up, make sure that my hard drive is connected and uh, well then I'm gonna go record a podcast. Uh, okay, so this is the thing that happens when you first boot the new hard drive. 
It says this disk you uh, inserted was not readable by the computer, which is, makes sense because it's not Mac formatted. So the next thing you'll need to do is go into the disk utility, go to the partition tab on the drive that you just added, not your old one, and make a partition. I'm going to call it Bob. Uh, and I'm gonna hit apply. And now it's going to say, do you want to partition this? It will change one of the partitions. No partitions will be erased. I'm going to do that. So you can see my new hard drive popped up down here. It's called Bob. I'm gonna to go to get info. Wait, what? It's 750 gigabytes. That is correct. Everything worked as planned. So that is how to take out the optical drive from your MacBook Pro and replace it with a giant ass hard drive. I'm gonna use the SSD that's already in there for you know applications and the OS and all that stuff. So the machine boots crazy fast, launches applications crazy fast, but I'm putting all my media photos, movies, music, pictures, and you know stuff that I'm working on like podcasts on the giant ass secondary hard drive. I'm really excited about this. It's easy to do. It took about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, you can do it too. For test time, I'm Will. See you guys next time.